Hello everyone and welcome back to Let's Play Hogwarts Legacy. Those books came out of nowhere. Uh, where last time we started our game here, Justin Osset uh, met with Professor Fig. Was it Fig? I think it was Fig. Uh, George died. Poor George. Rest in peace, George. Our first confirmed death. We also saw uh, a really, really kind goblin banker die. Didn't even have a name. But he was a really sweet guy. But we did make it to Hogwarts. And we got sorted into our house. We got sorted into Slytherin because we were an ambitious man. Or boy, I guess. Uh, but we're ready to go ahead and start up. I just wanted to... Really, just wanted to show you guys the uh, little loading in screen here. I guess this is the main menu, if you want to call it that. It's pretty, pretty unique, though. Uh, I got a message of the day, all that good stuff. So, anyway, Justin Osset. Let's go ahead and load in. We are in our uh, Slytherin common room at the moment. moment. And hopefully, um, I don't know if that flame, flame, <laughs> the frame rate issue we were having last game was on my end or not, but I did some, some modifications with my, uh, with my setup. So, hopefully, that fixes that if it is on my end if it's not on my end then well you know it is what it is but here we are in the slytherin uh common room dormitory and a nice little thing up there i'm trying to remember all the times we've seen the slytherin room in the um in the movies i don't know if we've ever gotten into this room with it i know we see it in the uh chamber of secrets because they polymorph themselves into it i'm pretty sure we see it in uh, the last movie? Or maybe the second last movie? Can I steal any of my fellow student stuff? Doesn't look like it. Alright. Let's go ahead and... Ooh, what's this over here? Some food? Yum yum. I hope those are for me. Alright. Guess we'll go out here. Look at the, uh, the wallpaper. That's kind of neat. Glorious. We're in the sewers. I see a person over there. And also where we're supposed to go, so I'm not going that way. Okay, got some more dormitories. Dormitories. More food. Is this, uh, more dormitories? I'm assuming there's dormitories for each year, so there should be seven of them. So far we've seen three. Four. Let's see if there's anything in there. Oh, mirror. Really bad mirror. Should probably get a new mirror, guys. Five. Six. Did I miss one? Counting six. Hmm. I might have miscounted or missed one. I don't know. Alright. Hello, everyone. How's it going, guys? Going good? Yeah? Alright. Gotta come up some... Gotta, I gotta say some cool terms to him. Make him know that... Let him know that I'm super cool. Yeah, I'm also a master pianist. I'm playing this, by the way. It's definitely not magic. I forgot the pictures move. Chilling? Yeah, he's chilling. Got the best seat in the place. Actually, that... I guess if you're listening to the music, it's not so bad. Got a pile of books here you guys are reading through them. There's a lot of books. Nerds. <laughs> Never catch me reading a book. I'm too cool for that. I suppose some introductions are in order. I suppose so. Yep. Like that poor man from the ministry. Did you see the way they just waltzed in at the end of the sorting ceremony last night? 
Yep, that's me. Imagine starting a new school this late. A little room, everyone. Let them through. Yeah, get get out of my way. I am special. What's this? Ooh, what's this? Ooh, what's this? Yum yum yum. Just gonna touch everything. Be as annoying as possible. Are you, are you looking at this? Not anymore. <laughs> I'm such a bully. <laughs> Sebastian Sallow. Did you just hmm <laughs> at me? Come here. Get your nose out of that book. Can I help you? Oh, you're the new fifth year. I'm Sebastian Sallow. Welcome to Slytherin. Thank you. Not everyone has a ministry escort to school. He was a friend of Professor Figs, who merely joined us for the ride. Still, impressive. Thank you. Dreadful way to go, poor fellow. Glad you and Fig are all right. Ah, okay. We do have some dialogue choices. It was terrifying. It was exciting. Uh, it was terrifying. Professor Fig and I were lucky to escape with our lives. Indeed. And how did you escape? It's all still a bit of a blur, to be honest. Didn't mean to press. You just get yourself settled. We can talk more later. Thanks. Nice to meet you. What were you reading? Yeah, what were you reading? What book were you reading? A spell book I picked up. Has a few interesting things, but not exactly what I was looking for. I'm sure you'll find out soon enough. But not every spell you may need can be found in our assigned textbooks. Hmm. What do you mean? Are you saying some spells aren't taught at Hogwarts? Which ones? Seems I may have met a kindred spirit. <laughs> that is a conversation for another time. Why? It was good meeting you. Good luck today. Thank you. I'm a little sad that we didn't get to make our own wand or choose our own wand. Here we got some stairs going up there. I'm guessing that way over there is the way out. Hello, everyone. Ooh. I think this room right here is what we saw in the movies. Remember these black couches? I don't think we've ever went back here, though. We got some fossils. That's cool. What's that? I wish I could zoom in. Some sort of water creature. Some flying pterodactyl-like creature. Ooh, chess. Wizard's chess. Hope we get to play that. That'd be fun. Ooh, having some tea here? Mind if I have some, uh... Have some? Thanks. Alright, I see the couple people over there. Let's go talk to them. Trust me. Imelda Reyes. Hello. Ugh, not going to move there, are you? Here, watch this. Up. Oh. Don't say I didn't warn you. Idiot. Checkmate. Told you. Damn, that was like the worst move you could possibly make, man. You should have listened to me. Ah, oh, I know who you are. You're the new Slytherin, the one who barged in with Professor Fig last night. That's me. Interesting tactic on your first day, taking all the attention away from the first years. I'm Amelda, by the way. Shame I wasn't with you and Fig. I could have lured that dragon away. My skills on a broom are legendary. Oh, yeah? We had it handled. I wish you had been there. Yeah, I'm sure George definitely wishes you had been there. Perhaps Professor Fig's friend would have survived if we'd had your help. Precisely. Perhaps one of these days I'll show you a thing or two about flying. I can teach you more than Kagawa ever could. Speaking of which, I'd like to get in some time on my broom before classes. Do you fly a lot? <laughs> no shit. <laughs> you seem to know where- yeah, you fly a lot. Do you have a lot of time to fly during school? I make the time. There's nothing like swerving through the spires of the castle and around the Quidditch pitch to clear the mind. Hmm. You seem to know a lot about wizard chest. Are you a keen Wizard Chess fan? You knew that boy was going to lose the match. Not really. Much too sedate a pastime for me. Also, it's simply not that challenging. The moves are always so obvious. Why does no one else see it? 
Hmm. Well, farewell then. Goodbye, Amelda. Nice meeting you. Amelda. Amelda and Sebastian. And who's this guy over here looking all cool? Ominous. What's this? Oh God. That would scare the shit out of me. <laughs> Yes, I do. I I think I heard one. Hmm. Doubt mermaids find us that interesting. Are you blind? Uh, based on all the chatter when you entered the common room, I'm guessing you're the new fifth year. I'm Ominous. Ominous Gaunt. Nice to meet you, Ominous. Well, you certainly had a memorable arrival. Hmm. I do wish. And this is a minor thing. But I wish they had just given all of the students names. Like, even if they're not important characters. Instead of just having Slytherin student. Like, I, I imagine it wouldn't have been that. I mean, look how long it took me to find a, a name for my character. It would have been really easy, I think. Anyway. Uh, memorable. More like terrifying. I do like to make an entrance. Yeah, let's go with that one. Well, if I'm going to make my mark here, I had to start right away. <laughs> You're definitely in the right house. Do let me know if I can be of any help as you navigate your first days here, though I doubt you'll need it. Do mermaids often appear outside the common room? Did that student say he thought he heard a mermaid? <laughs> yes, but I've never heard of a mermaid showing up outside our common room window. It is fun to play along though. Been known to keep some first years on the lookout for hours. That's actually really cool. Did you suspect you'd be in Slytherin? Were you expecting to be sorted into Slytherin? Most certainly. My family on my father's side are direct descendants of Salazar Slytherin, one of the four founders of Hogwarts. Oh. Not something I'm especially proud of, mind you. He was obsessed with blood status, a pure blood maniac. Unfortunately, most of his descendants do not fall far from that tree. Hmm, and you do, I suppose. Well, nice meeting you. Thank you, Ominous. Very nice to meet you. Pleasure was all mine. Don't be a stranger. Is the new fifth year Slytherin in here? Professor Weasley's waiting for you just by the stairs. Thank you, Violet. Oh, this would be so cool. You know, if schools were like this in real life, children would love going to school. Probably. Maybe. Probably not. <laughs> Teaches the thing. Gareth Weasley, another I'm Weasley. Dreading taking my transfiguration owl. Absolutely dreading it. I'd rather jinx myself than have to explain reasons for the exceptions to Gamp's law. Are the Professor Weasley's easily my favorite. Her wand work is exquisite. Are Beginner's oh my God. Transfiguration is Miley's favorite textbook. I cannot seem to wrap my head around the subject. I tried to transfigure my parchment into a blanket. Wanted a little nap. Would have been fine if I hadn't caught fire. Transfiguration requires such precision. I once turned my pet rabbit into a candlestick. Mother was furious when she set the table and it hopped away. My brother caused a lot of trouble in Professor Weasley's class. I, I, I feel like they're not actually talking with each other. They're just spouting dialogue lines. <laughs> um, what was I going to say before they start talking? I forget. Oh, there was another Weasley. I think I was saying something before that, but but I wonder if um, if you join Gryffindor if you're with the Weasley kid. Well, that's a cool tapestry. Hello. Good morning. I trust you're ready for your first day at Hogwarts. I've been dreaming of this day for a long time. Can't believe I'm here. Well, you are here. Make the most of it. You only have one first day at Hogwarts. Now, in light of your unique situation, joining us as a fifth year, you'll need to catch up with your classmates and not fall behind. Especially as you'll be expected to complete your OWLs at the end of the year. OWLs? Owls? Yes, your ordinary wizarding level exams. They will determine what type of career you can have when you leave here. After much discussion with the headmaster and the Department of Magical Education at the Ministry, we've devised something extraordinary to ensure your success. Hmm. 
Here you are. Well, thank you. What's this? Whoa. What is it? It is a wizard's field guide. It will help you to keep track of what you are learning so that you master all that's expected of a fifth year. You would be wise to take full advantage of this exceptionally valuable resource. Well, thank you very much. I will. Thank you, Professor. But what do you mean it will keep track of what I'm learning? Perhaps seeing it in action will answer any questions you may have. Walk with me and we shall put it to the test. All right. After you. What's this? I certainly would have appreciated hmm. something like the field guide when I was a student. Using the guide will also train you to be alert to your surroundings. Hmm. So cool. The guide will give you opportunities to practice your magic and educate yourself about wizarding law. Who, Do keep up. Who needs laws when you're a wizard? Why don't you cast Revelio on that statue and see what details the field guide can provide? Okay. Revelio. Kelpie statue. Guide pages. This statue depicts the Kelpie, a shape-shifting water demon native to Ireland and Great Britain, which usually takes the form of a long-maned horse. The largest Kelpie ever reported is Loch Ness Monster in Scotland. You've just unlocked a field guide challenge. Your progress toward completing challenges appears here. Where? There? Ah. Collect field guide pages in Hogwarts. Field guide challenges are the only way to acquire experience points or XP. Really? This is your wizarding level. XP earned from challenges increases your level and power. Okay. Your field guide tracks your current challenge progress. Select the challenge menu to continue. Challenge. Collecting your first guide page unlocked a new challenge category. New challenges you unlock throughout your adventures will appear here. Select field guide pages to continue. Here we got combat, quest exploration, and rumor requirement. Discover field guide pages found around the world. Each challenge has tiers. Special rewards unlock at each tier you complete, from appearance to critical upgrades. Rewards must be claimed from the challenges menu. Come back often to collect rewards you have unlocked. We get we unlock an appearance. Regalia spectacles. Okay. Interesting. Clever, isn't it? Keep your eyes open for more opportunities like that. I shall. Inside and outside of the castle. What's tea? Are these are these? Are these like combos or something? Oh no, this is just my, uh... These are all the spells you can get. Huh. <gasps> Kills enemies instantly. Well, hell yeah. And ultimately, that's probably why we're gonna end up being Slytherin, is because I'm going to use that a lot, why well, probably. I wonder if there are consequences. I don't think they're forbidden yet, right? I'm not sure. What's this? Ah, good timing. Perfect opportunity to show you how to use flu flames to get around a bit quicker. Flu Your flames. Field guide contains a map of the castle. Open it up and find Central Hall. This is fast travel. You've discovered a flu flames. Fast travel point. Ah, uh, you can open the map at any time to fast travel to any discovered flu flu flames. Open map. What do we got? Oh, I thought it was. I swear I thought it was going to be, um... Oh, I forget the name of the map. You guys know the map. Mischief Managed, that map. What's the name of it? 
Anyway, Hogwarts is divided into two main areas. The left side of the map is where students and professors live and includes the house common rooms in the great halls. And now I guess that map wasn't made yet, right? Anyway, uh, Flue Flames locations. Got Astronomy Wing, Bell Tower, Grand Staircase, Great Hall, Library, Annex, and South Wing. Okay. Select the Grand Staircase region to continue. Okay, so we can pick. In this view, you can see the Flow Flames available in that region. Green Flow Flames represent flames you have discovered, including your own house common room. Gray flames reveal the locations of undiscovered flames. Okay. The right side of the map is where you will find academic points of interest, including astronomy tower, library, and greenhouses. Select the library annex region to continue. Professor Weasley has unlocked the central hall flu flames for you. Use A and D to rotate the map and fast travel to the central flames or central hall flu flames with space. Okay. We okay, enough of that. Uh, Central Hall travel. Target lock is an effective tool against any enemy you want to combo. Or otherwise, and so caps lock are. is that. Quite the time saver. These stairs lead directly to Central Hall. Neat. You can get almost anywhere in the castle quickly from Central Hall. Do I need to like... There we go. Flu Flames location discovered. Cool. Look at that thing. It's breathing Always smoke. something happening here. It's the heart of the hive. Our King's Cross Station, so to speak. I wonder why Madame Kagawa didn't become a professional Quidditch player. That should be all for now. You'll be expected to attend both Charms and Defense Against the Dark Arts classes today. And I'd like to be sure you get to Hogsmeade as soon as possible to replace the supplies you lost on the way here. That'd be nice. Thank you, Professor. Can you tell me more about Charms class? What will I learn in Charms class? Charms. Exactly what you might expect. Spells, charms, jinxes. All terribly useful. I think you will enjoy Professor Ronan. He's a clever and entertaining wizard and a talented teacher. What exactly is Defense Against the Dark Arts? Can you tell me more about the Defense Against the Dark Arts class? Defense Against the Dark Arts, as the name implies, focuses on how to defend oneself against the evils that lurk beyond these walls. Like dragons. A mastery of Defense Against the Dark Arts is required for those who aspire to become Aurors. Aurors. Fortunately, we are lucky to have the ever-gifted Professor Hecat in charge of our students' education in that regard. Hmm. What's Hogsmeade? You mentioned Hogsmeade, Professor. Hogsmeade is the only all-wizarding village in Britain and is home to an array of shops and pubs. You should be able to find all of the school supplies you require in Hogsmeade. You will also, I imagine, enjoy many a butterbeer there with friends in due course. Hmm. You know something just occurred to me? Are we not a transfer student? I thought we came from like a different school. I mean, we know how to use magic, so maybe we guess we could be homeschooled. I was just wondering because of our accent, right? I thought Hogwarts was like the school for all of Britain. Oh, maybe I'm wrong about that. Uh, thank you, Professor. I just wish... I do wish we had a little bit more backstory. Maybe it'll come out later, though. Thank you. Thank you, Professor Weasley. A lot to absorb on your first day. And you have much to learn. Happily, your professors have agreed to create additional assignments for you outside of class. You'll be up to speed in no time. Oh, thanks. Judging by your adept use of Revelio earlier, I'd say Professor Fig succeeded in at least showing you the basics. He did, Professor. He's been terribly vague as to the events preceding your arrival, specifically about what happened after that awful dragon attack. My suspicion is that there's more to the story than a search for belongings and an extended trip up to the castle. Mm. Gonna lie to her or not? No reason to. There is, in fact. We did take a bit of a detour on the way here. Ended up exploring some ruins and... I shouldn't say more. Exploring ruins? Well, 
I presume Professor Fig has his reasons for keeping the details to himself for now. Hello, Fig. Speak of the devil, Professor Fig. Your ears must have been burning. Oh? Yes. You seem to have provided our new fifth year with a solid foundation in the basics of spellcasting. Ah, I'm afraid I can't take all the credit there, Professor. They've a rare aptitude for magic, it seems. Hmm. Well, I'm just glad you both arrived in one piece. Me too. Perfectly good boats and carriages to Hogwarts, and you chose to fly in the path of a dragon. I wouldn't say I chose the dragon's path, Professor. Rather unfortunately, it would seem that it chose us. Very well. Enough chit-chat. I need to get to class myself. Might I rely on you, Professor Fig, to explain the details of the field guide's map? Of course. Thank you. Good luck today. And remember to use your field guide. It will be invaluable to you. And invaluable to me, as I'll be using it to keep up to date on your progress. Yes, Professor. Come and find me in my classroom after you've attended both classes today, and I'll explain more about those assignments I mentioned. And we'll see if we can't get you to Hogsmeade for those supplies. Thank you. All right. Oh, that's so cool. Are those goblins? Hmm. Alright, what's up, Fig? Professor Fig, so I gotta be polite. Respectful. It's good to see you, Professor. And you. I was hoping our paths would cross today before you immersed yourself in studies. Did I hear you and Professor Weasley talking about exploring ruins? Huh? It was nothing, sir. Yes, sir. But I didn't tell her anything else about her travels here. I will say, I think she suspects we're not being entirely forthcoming. Yes, well, Professor Weasley is a brilliant and astute witch. It was right to keep the details to yourself for now. We don't know where this path we've embarked upon will lead. It may require a bit more flexibility with your time than she would approve of. Mm. And she may feel obliged to share details with the headmaster that would be better left between us. Understood, Professor. Good. Now, as capable as you are, I believe the ability you possess obliges you to be well-trained. Happily, you have the benefit of an exceptionally skilled team of witches and wizards to guide you. Speaking of guides, and so that I may avoid another not-so-subtle reproof from Professor Weasley, why don't I show you the clever enchantment we included in the field guide's map? Unfold it and have a look. Okay. Um, you can track available quests from the map. M. All right. This symbol represents main quests. Completing main quests will further the story, unlock new features, and grant XP. All right. See, so we've got a bunch of... Um, I guess I don't have a mouse right now. Some quests are locked by spell and or level requirements. That's okay. They got a little lock on them. In these cases, you will need to be the required level and or have the required spell to activate the quest. New spells can be earned by completing professor's assignments or as quest rewards. Track a quest with or track a quest with uh, right click. Defense against the dark arts class or charms class. Accio or Levioso? Accio, I think, is what we're going to want. The field guide map shows Professor Ronan's class and is in the astronomy wing. This castle is enormous. I may need to use the charmed compass V in the field guide to help me find the way. All right, we tracked it. The map is enchanted to help you find your way. This will be incredibly helpful. Thank you. Now, sounds like you've quite a day ahead, what with classes and a trip to Hogsmeade for supplies, including your own wand. You'll enjoy Mr. Ollivander. He's an exceptional craftsman and a good friend. Oh, he's in Hogsmeade. I shall reach out when I have more information about our mysterious locket. For now, focus on your classes and pay attention. 
More than your owls may hinge on the magic you are able to master within these walls. Yeah, no pressure. I'm just, you know, a 16-year-old kid. Okay. Charmed compass, new quest item. Oh, we've heard that one before. Uh, stop! I've heard it before. The charmed compass. Okay, this way? Well, let's take a look around. What's this thing? Okay. Can't jump over the railing. Hello. Who are you? There's something in there. I just know it. Lenora Everly. Hello. I don't believe we've met. Oh, hello. I'm Lenora. Alpha Puff. Pardon me if I seem a little distracted at the moment. Everyone thinks I'm utterly balmy. Samantha thinks I'm potty. But it's this painting. I never noticed it before. If I know Hogwarts, and I do, an empty frame doesn't appear for no reason. There's something more to this. Hmm. Have you learned anything about it? Have you gained any insights about the painting since you've been studying it? I did discover that casting Lumos has an effect of some kind. But I'm not sure what to do next. Are there other paintings like this here? Are there any other empty paintings like this around the school? Yes, a few. This entire place is somewhat of a riddle, to be honest. If I can work out the riddle of this one, I'll know what to do with all of them. As good a place as any to begin. Mm, perhaps I'll have a look. If I have the time, I may look. Could be intriguing. <sighs> I've been racking my brains long enough. I hope you'll have better luck than I have. Hmm. Do come like a moth to a flame. Something illuminating that solves the mystery. Lumos. That spot must be a clue. I should look around in case it's nearby. Okay. So we've got stairs. Looks like pretty ang angular stairs. Nothing here, it looks like. Oh, it's marked for me. That makes it easy. This looks like the location from the painting. What could be so special about it? Revelio. What's this? Statue of Gregory the Smarmy. This statue, uh, with an into this statue with an ingratiating gr grin, depicts the medieval wizard Gregory the Smarmy, the wizard famous for inventing Gregory's uh, unctuous unction, a potion that makes the drinker believe whoever gave them the potion is their best friend. All right, looks like we got a thing done for that. Challenge complete. Awesome. How do I open those up? I think I have to do it in here. Aha! Collections? What are these? Um, that's, that's what these are. Okay. Cool, cool. Alright. Something new in here, too? Oh, I can claim this right now. Ooh, we got some gloves. Oh, no, that's the next tier. Click eight field guide pages in Hogwarts. Cool. A new quest. Complete two main story quests. Okay. Alright. Ooh, what's this? Charm class. Defense against the dark arts and like a moth to a flame. Ooh, appearances. Cool. I think that we add one more. There's something more in here. Oh, here. A pair of spectacles for the stalwart explorer of Hogwarts. Earned by discovering field guide pages in Hogwarts. Alright. There we go. Revelio. So, what is this thing? Lumos. Let's get you back to your frame, little moth. I got him. Do you think it's painful? Um. This is not the first. I knew there was a connection. 
should tell Lenora that I solved the puzzle of that empty frame. Really easily, too. Oh, it's gone. Plus 15 HP. We're level 2. Nice. You guys aren't impressed, huh? Okay. Fair enough, I guess. Does Jay open up the journal? Do. Let's go ahead and do this one. Alright. Oh, hello. I hope I'm wealthy enough one day to buy everything. Hello, Lenora. Lenora, I solved the mystery of that painting. You did? How? Um, intelligence. I'm not telling. Follow the clues. I found the location depicted in the painting, and then I cast Lumos to guide a moth back to the frame. All very logical, I suppose. Pity I was so close to solving it. Mm -hmm. You have a knack for solving riddles. Natty's good at that too. So is Meat, although he does tend to overexplain. Well, I'm glad someone figured it out. Yep. So good at the moth. I should have seen that. Should have. Cobalt regalia. Challenge unlock, complete side relationship quests. Relationship quests? You have like relationship bars? Hmm. Okay. Let me see what that does. So, in collection, finish something in here. We got. Regalia. And an. Hmm. <laughs> An ensemble for those with poise and refinement earned by solving the mystery of the empty painting frame. Sounds like me. I'm poised and refined. And challenges. Do I get like, uh, do I have like skill points or anything? It's not seeming like I do do it, right? Complete three sides or relationship quests. Gotcha. Talents. We do have talents. They're not unlocked yet, but... We do have talents and gear. That's going to be awesome. All right. Let's go ahead. Head to charms. Charm class. Charms class. And that's up here. Yeah. This is really cool. Get out of my way, Hufflepuff. The heck is that? Peeves! Where is he? Hmm. I'll find him one day. Oh. Still getting some frame rate drops. Especially outside, dang. Maybe I need to like lower my graphics. Let's let us um let's do that. Do, 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 do see if that helps at all. Guess we'll go to medium. Maybe that'll help a little bit. I'm not sure. That's a bit of a shame. I'm going to have to upgrade my computer. Look at that. Still looks okay. Defense against the dark arts. Ah. Well, that's not where we're going. I guess that one's down. This one's up. Attention. Are you looking at me? You looking at me? It was a long time ago. Excuse me. Fluffy, the three-headed dog there. Obviously that's not fluffy, but 
Professor My Ronan tends to go on a bit. We sometimes have to remind him to finish the lesson. Some of us don't necessarily want him to get back to the she lesson. She says they're ones he didn't put in the Book of Potions. Likely powerful spells for the complexion. What? Why are you looking at my chin like that? Stop it! <laughs> if you pay attention... Alright, let's begin. Any Slytherins in here? Here. Behind you. Not see. There is an open seat here. Thank you. A Gryffindor. Hello, I am Nettie. So you are the new student. Have you met Professor Ronan yet? <clears throat> Shall we begin? <laughs> Welcome to year five of chant. Now, this will be a crucial year in your education on the art of charm work, but I am confident that we will take hold with a passion and rigor requisite of such a challenge. Right, now, everyone, please open your textbooks to page 517. But before we begin, can anyone here tell me the difference between the incantations of the color change and growth charms? Anyone? Anyone? Mm hmm? Ah, 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 ah. I am afraid it is too late to study now. Hmm. My, the summer months must have really taken a toll on you all. <laughs> By the looks of it, you all spent your holidays practicing obliviate on one another. Ha <laughs> <laughs> uh, ha hmm. ha. Do you even remember how to perform a basic summoning charm? This is too real. <laughs> well, it seems that we are in dire need of review. Everyone get into pairs and take positions on opposite sides of the classroom. Now let's put those textbooks to use as the blunt objects you so believe they are and take turns summoning them out of one another's hands. Only one book will be needed per partnership, Miss Dale. Thank you. Get into place now. Okay. So this is against the Gryffindor, so we gotta kick their butt. Study your wand with the mouse and guide it along the blah blah blah. blah. Okay, yeah, 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 yeah. Easy peasy. Give me that book, Accio. Accio. Easy. That is not bad. Well, no kidding. You are a swift learner. I see a lot of potential, but remember, potential is nothing without practice. Keep at it. You might just rival Miss Onai here. Oh, I've already got her beat. Very good, everyone. That's enough of that. Well, as you all seem to have the basics down, and it is an exceptionally lovely day, I was thinking that we might have ourselves a little excursion outside for a spot of fresh air. After me. <laughs> Quite the character. I feel like he only waited until I did the the the, the test, though. Like, is nobody else gonna be tested? I don't know. I don't know. It feels a little unfair to me. Hey, as long as I get a hundred, give me that A. I've always found that fun goes hand in hand with mastery, as I'm sure the Quidditch players amongst us would agree. Hmm? <laughs> so. What better than a bit of sport to put our prowess with the summoning charm to the test, right? <laughs> Impressive. So why don't we have our newest students start us off? Hmm? Um. <laughs> friendly chirping. <laughs> Okay. Simply cast Accio on one of the spheres and relinquish your charm at the last possible moment. Okay. Accio, do this like Gobstop. Splendid! Don't lose your composure. Okay. How do I cancel it? Very good. Can you get any better than that? Like, come on, Professor. 
praise me again. Tell me I'm the greatest that's ever lived. That's it. I think that one's even better. Happens to the best. Very good. Points to Slytherin. Hell yeah. But there's certainly no sport in playing without some friendly competition. Miss Onai, would you care to give our new student a bit of a challenge? Oh, is Onai the teacher's pet? Come on, Onai, show me what you got. You'll be the blues just as before, and Miss Onai, you are playing red. Clear? Yes, sir. Easy. What do you got? Oh, tripped you. <laughs> What's this? Okay, not bad, not bad. I mean, you know, I, I could do better. I've done better. Watch and learn. Oh, that was bad. Okay, I suck. <laughs> Push her off the edge. Push her off the edge. All right, you're a cheater. You're not even holding it that long. Yes. Oh, shut up. There's no way. No way. Okay, so she won. That is how it's done. That is how it's done. <laughs> well done. Yeah, shut up. Lost by ten points is bullshit. First day of school, and you put me because the best damn wizard in the class. And let us make this a bit more interesting, shall we? How can you make it more interesting, huh? <laughs> I think we are well past interesting at this point. Yeah, this is just. I'll say. You're enough chatter. Focus now. You will need it. This round settles it all. Round settles it all, huh? I can't let us Cheater! She's cheating. Okay. Okay, okay. Watch and learn. They don't call me the greatest wizard ever for nothing. Oh, oh, oh no, I didn't stop in time. Not to worry. <laughs> Here we go. Up, 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 up. up. Okay. Hey, right, she just needs to she just needs to do really badly on this one. And then I can make a comeback. She needs to score nothing. Okay, so I lost. That is how it's done. Yeah, this how it's just shut up. Man. Crucio you or something. Okay. If I knock her ball off. Brilliant. I want a rematch. It's not fair. Very good, both of you. Well no, I lost. I I suck. Stupid Gryffindor and their stupid lion and red cloaks. <laughs> hate you. I hate you. Class is dismissed. Gather your things on the way out. Did anybody else do anything? Well done back there. You took the loss in stride. Didn't want to go too easy. Yeah, well... It, it... Took me weeks to become proficient with Akio. It took weeks for me to get anything right when I transferred here. It gets easier, I promise. She sees she obviously has the accent of a transfer student. I'm glad you understand. I'm holding my own. Hmm. I kind of feel like we should be kind of a jerk because we're in Slytherin. But 
also, to be fair, none of the Slytherin boys were like, Hey, Justin, come sit with us. And maybe because I'm a new student here, I don't, like, understand the house politics yet. They haven't really gotten into that at all. All right, I'm going to be confident. I'm holding my own. Thank you, but I've been holding my own. I appreciate your confidence. Yeah, I bet you do. I transferred here from Wagadu just before my fourth year. My mother received an offer to teach divination here. Before I knew it, we had left Uganda and were halfway around the world at a new school in a new country. Uganda, huh? How big is, uh, I forgot how she pronounced this. Is Wagadu Wagadu. Than Hogwarts? <laughs> Wagadu School of Magic is the largest wizarding school in the world. Really? So, yes, bigger than Hogwarts. I didn't know that. But it never seemed intimidating or overwhelming to me. It always felt like home. I will uh, preface anything I say with the uh, the fact that I never watched um, was it Mysterious Beasts or whatever it's called Th those those movies I never watched those so like maybe maybe this maybe Wagado is is mentioned in that or maybe it's in the books and I've just forgotten I don't know uh, what does it look like is Wagado a castle Wagadu. like Hogwarts? Its address is Mountains of the Moon. Ooh. It is not so much a castle as a beautiful edifice carved out of the mountainside. That sounds awesome. I remember the first time I saw it, the mist was so thick I could hardly make out anything at all. And then it just materialized before me, this enormous school that seemed to be floating in midair. Hmm. Is magic the same there? This may seem an odd question, but is magic the same there as it is here? Mm, mostly, yes. But I did have to learn how to use a wand when I arrived here. Hardly anyone at Wagadu uses one. Really? Surely the magic is weaker then. Spells cast without a wand must be less powerful than those cast with a wand. No, no, not at all. Wizarding magic cast without a wand is just as powerful. And why do we use wands? I find wandless magic to be much more instinctive. Not to mention quite convenient if one is without their wand. I, I must admit, however, that I am growing quite fond of using a wand. It seems very dramatic. Hmm. I mean, like, why do we use wands then? <laughs> I guess maybe it, like, is easier to learn with a wand? Thank you for telling me about uh, Wagado. Wagado? It's nice to learn about another wizarding school. Thank you for asking. I do miss Wagado. Wagado. But I am glad to be here at Hogwarts. Ah, I think Professor Ronan wants to talk to you. Better not keep him waiting. Until next time. All right. You're a Gryffindor and you beat me, so I don't like you, but you're you're cool, I guess. I don't know. If you're so inclined. Well. You'd be using it on clothing, to be precise, Sebastian. You know it won't work on humans. Hmm. Hey. Professor Ronan reminds me of my grandfather. Loads of wisdom, but a bit mad. A bit mad, huh? He's got a lot of tea, that's for sure. Hey. After my brother learned the summoning charm, it was constant Accio this, Accio that, cutlery flying everywhere. Quite unsafe, really. Yeah, that's very irresponsible. All right, I guess you guys just sat down to take one last note before you leave. If you would. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You wanted to speak with me, Professor. I did. I trust your first charms lesson lived up to expectation. Well. An outdoor competition wasn't exactly the lesson I was expecting, sir. What charm is there in the expected? Miss Onai is a talented witch. Take it in stride. One often gains the most from the battles one has lost. Of course, Professor. It was a challenging match. Miss Onai is always a fierce competitor, though I sense that she is a bit distracted of late. <clears throat> now, Professor Weasley has asked that your professors give you instruction outside of the ordinary curriculum. Yep, I am. Expect to hear from me soon regarding a special assignment that I am preparing for you. I am the protagonist, so please give me extra attention and extra help. Quest complete charms class. Ooh, almost level three. 
You mind if I take a look up here, do you? Ooh, level one lock. A lower mora. That's the unlocking spell, right? Who's writing this? Magic. Hello there. You're the new student, aren't you? Samantha Dale. What's up, Samantha? Hello. You wanted to speak to me. Samantha Dale. I've been eager to meet you. You're the student everyone's been whispering about. Hope your first day is going well. You certainly seem to hold your own in charms. It's kind of you to say. It wasn't too challenging a lesson. What's she doing in the background there? Was it? That's kind of you to say. I've been fortunate. Beginner's luck. <laughs> My brother William would tell you not to be so humble and to trust your abilities. Then again, he tends to be overconfident in his. Well, better see to my charms homework. I'm afraid I can't count on beginner's luck to impress Professor Ronan. Mm-hmm. Yep, you gotta work at it. Can I talk to you? No. You're just hanging out? That's fine. Okay. I... Ooh, what's this? Hmm? There's definitely a chest. It's up. Oh, this place is cool. This is where I'd be hanging out. Right here. Oh, yeah, that's nice. I think I remember seeing this or reading about this in the book. This area. Touch every... Oh, hello. You got a big head. There's another one. The heck? Peeves. Peeves, enough. You'll get us all detention. Oh, and you're both wrong anyway. It was Hephaestus Gore. It wasn't Boots and it wasn't Flack, but you're all in trouble with Professor Black. <laughs> 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 Gotta love Peeves. Is this where the chest would be? Hello? I'm gonna keep going up. Who's gonna stop me? Nobody can stop me. I'm invincible. Oh my god, it keeps going. Oh, went right. Was that Headless Nick? That is Headless Nick, isn't it? I don't know. He's got his head, so maybe not. I was nearly headless, Nick. Yeah, that's it. Nearly headless? Why are you called nearly headless? You can't imagine how inconvenient travel was before I invented flu powder. Are you somebody? You look like a professor. Hi, professor. Does that say? I think that's the same thing as before. Click that. I'm going to keep going up so I can't go up no more. I do want to do, uh, you know what? Let's turn back around. I want to go to Defense Against the Dark Arts class before we end the episode. It's getting kind of late in the episode anyway. Late a day, too. I do wish that, uh, games would release more on my schedule. Like, let's release on Fridays or on, or on the weekends. I could just play all day. All right, can we sprint? Sprint! Do we have like a stamina bar? Doesn't seem like it. You definitely get your workout living here. Professor Weasley. That's how many stairs there are. Okay. I don't think we went down any further than this. Excuse me? Professor Fig's classroom. Oh. Wait, this is where we're supposed to be. Is that a chest? It is. Level one lock. Okay. I think we need to go down another another floor. Off on another adventure, are we? We are. Is this a yeah, yeah, I remember those things and I think we want to go down further Oop, excuse me 
I mean, you're jamming over here. Someone was sat by the fire in our common room the other day with steam coming out of their ears. I tried to hide it. Okay. Is it up here? It says it's up. There it is. Hello, Mr. Eyeballs. Let's go grab this. Alright. Let's see what we got here. Perhaps you'd be good enough to blast each other to pieces on your own time. I get new students every year, but I only have one Hebridean black skull. It was a token from the great poacher raid of 1878. No doubt you've heard of it. Now, you may be asking yourself how an old woman like me single-handedly took out the largest poacher ring in eastern Wales and lived to boast about it. Knowledge. Knowledge is power. To wise, age matters very little. Today we will review a spell that has saved me from death at the hands of dark wizards more times than I care to remember. Levioso. Levioso. A levitation charm. Levioso. A surprised opponent is a weak opponent. Care to defend yourself, Master Pruitt? No? One thing I've learned as an unspeakable is the value of simplicity, especially in the heat of battle. Now, let's practice what we've just learned, starting with something small. I really don't know what's going on with the, the frame rate. I'm gonna have to play with that even more. Okay, so Levioso. There we go. Levioso. Easy. Now, let's try something a little larger. Why am I the one? Why am I going first? Let us begin with a basic cast. See how the dummy deflected your cast. I see. This time, cast Levioso first, then the basic cast. Okay. Remember, a surprised opponent is a weak opponent. All right, so I locked on. As Master Pruitt so artfully helped me demonstrate earlier. Levioso. Good. Now, the basics. Well done. Piece of cake. Very good. But the best way to practice is by dueling. We'll start with you two. Duelists, take your marks. Time for a proper Hogwarts welcome. Now, All right, Sebastian. I want a fair duel using only Levioso, basic cast, and Protego. All right, Crucio. You may begin. All right, so... This should be easy. Protego, Levioso, go. If the case stays. Get wrecked. Levioso, stupid boy. Levioso, a perfectly executed Levioso. Thank you. Kicked him off the table. Easy peasy. Not bad for a beginner. You give as good as you get. <laughs> <laughs> Look at that smug smile I've got. So smug. I put you on the spot, and you rose to the challenge. Points to slip. Thank you. Thank you, Professor Hackett. Glad to have the opportunity to practice. If what I've seen today is any indication, we can expect great things. From so I've been told. I demand excellence from my students. They are capable of achieving it. And they must achieve it. A classroom duel is one thing, but battling dark wizards, or as ever more likely, goblins, is a different kettle of Grindelows entirely. Understood, Professor. 
So, I'd advise you to keep practicing whenever you can. Perhaps Mr. Sallow will have some ideas for you. Again, well done today. I shall reach out soon with additional assignments. Thank you. All right. That's enough spectacle for one day. Class is dismissed. Quick classes here. I'd hate to face Professor Hecate in a duel. If you know the right spells, it's dark wizards that'll fear you, not the other way around. Yeah. Nice work. I enjoyed that. Well, that duel was quite something. Everyone will be talking I'll about kick it. your ass, yeah. Certainly good practice. Yeah. Practice? Felt more like I was dueling an expert. Didn't expect a new student to be so deft with a wand. Then again, perhaps this wasn't your first duel. Oh, well, you know. I've had my share of wand combat. It was. I never used a wand in combat. Never used my wand in combat, but I've beat the shit out of people. <laughs> I don't know. Um, I've had my share of wand combat. I've dueled enough. Consider yourself lucky I held back. Huh. Fair enough. You owe me an honest duel when you aren't. You know, you might be a perfect fit for a certain exclusive, unsanctioned dueling organization. Ooh. Sounds intriguing. Exclusive and unsanctioned. Count me in. Excellent. Knew I was right about you. If you want to get the most out of your time at Hogwarts, you're going to need to break the rules now and then. Rules. Whether it's joining a secret dueling club, or sneaking into the restricted section of the library. You just have to be clever enough not to get caught. Thank you, Sebastian. I'll keep that in mind. Good. Pleasure chatting with you. I'm sure I'll see you soon. Perhaps somewhere unsanctioned? We'll see if your performance today was sheer luck or actual skill. Look for Luke and Brattleby near the clock tower entrance. If you're interested. Luke and Brattleby. Okay. I am interested. Until next time. You know... Justin's a good kid, but at the same time, he's of the philosophy that it's better to ask forgiveness than permission. And what better way to learn everything there is to learn than breaking some rules? No, I mean you gotta you gotta break rules. I want to find out what's what. All right, what am I doing now? Nothing. We're actually going to end the episode. <laughs> so we got crossed wands. Round one, that's the duel, and meet Professor Weasley, attend your first day at Hogwarts. Okay, so that's what we'll be doing in the next episode. Let's go ahead and take a look at this real quick. Make sure we get our our stuff, claim our reward there. Got some gloves. I wonder, can we put them on here? We can, so I can put these glasses on. Not going to, I like my, my glasses here. Looks like we got a lot of things we're going to end up getting, which is nice. Do these have things? Offense cannot upgrade. So, yeah, the, so we have stats for our equipment, too. That's interesting. And the robe there. Would that be in outfits? Hmm. I thought I have the, um... Ooh, kind of a little scarf on. Why doesn't it match my color, though? Have a hat? Ooh. Neat. I thought we got a uh, an outfit. Hmm. Didn't we get something in here? Not in here. No, it was, um... Where was that at? Hmm. We just got gloves. Can I put those on? No. I will put those gloves on, though. Hmm. I wonder why these glasses showed up, but the other ones didn't. Maybe that's not what I was looking at? Uh, 
That's not. Okay. Well, how do we get these? I don't have to apply the gear via change appearance option in the gear menu. Change appearance option. Hmm, I don't see that anywhere. Change appearance option. Oh, cool. I can put the hood up. Well, that's pretty cool, actually. I'm not seeing a change appearance option. Am I missing something here? What is, uh, this do? Nothing. Okay. Yeah, I don't see a change appearance option anywhere. Oh, it's right there. Change appearance. So we've got traditional school robes. That's what we're wearing, right? Dark arts robe. Oh, this is from the pre-order. I think. It's a little bit too too much for me. You can also go robeless. I think we're gonna do that. Okay. And this one we've got Dark Arts Ensemble. Okay. Prefect vest vest uniform and stylish vest school uniform. Well, I do like that one. I also got this. Which does not look cool at all. <laughs> Got the stylish one, yeah. Any other things we got? I can change appearance. Yeah, we could. Ooh, what do we got here? Hogwarts Regalia spectacles. All right. Also got this mask, dark arts mask, and then we got all the the regular spectacles. I'll keep my half moon ones. My hair is clipping, so we're gonna take the hood off. Even though I, I do kind of like the hood. We'll probably put it on eventually one day. Oh yeah, we have new gloves too. Legendary gloves, okay. Looks like chain mail almost. Dark arts gloves and regular gloves. Huh? Oh. I'll keep these. All right. All right, that's where we are going to end this episode, guys. In the next episode, we will go through and talk with Professor Weasley. And maybe we'll do the unsanctioned duel, too. I'm, I'm, I imagine that we'll soon unlock the, our talent points, which will be really cool. I'm looking forward to seeing how we can build our character and the different ways we can do that. Hopefully, you guys are looking forward to that, too. Until then, I hope you all have a wonderful day. And I'll catch you later.